There have been a bazillion theories about why Mitt Romney lost. We've heard from everyone and their brother, but not from the man himself until now. Mitt Romney, speaking to high dollar donors, said he lost because Mr. Obama handed out gifts to groups of donors. What the, president, uh, the president's campaign did was focus on certain members of his base coalition, give them extraordinary financial gifts from the government, uh, and, uh, and then work very uh, aggressively to turn them out to vote. So I guess Governor Romney really meant that 47% thing. Joining me now, CNN contributor and TheBlaze.com guy, Will Kane and CNN political analyst, Roland Martin. Welcome to you both. Good morning. Hey, Carol. <laughs> so, Will, Louisiana governor, Republican, Bobby Jindal, he's already criticizing Mitt Romney over these comments. Let's listen. I absolutely reject uh, that notion, that description. I think that's absolutely wrong. That is not, uh, I, I, do, I don't think that that represents where we are as a party and where we're going as a party. And I think that that has got to be one of the most fundamental takeaways from this election. Okay, so Will, respond. Um, should Mitt Romney even have made those comments, even to his donors? Well, I, you know, I don't know that he should be making comments, period. Um, you know, one of your anchors on this network, John Berman, pointed out to me that it's traditionally pretty... Um, pretty good good graces to not talk about the election for some time after it's over if you're the loser of that election. That being said, let's talk about what he actually said. One of my favorite things about this election being over, Carol, is that um, largely I get to stop answering questions about how things play politically. And I can answer questions whether or not they're intellectually correct or incorrect. And what I would say to you is this. What about what Mitt Romney said is incorrect? Uh, well, let's ask Roland because um, obviously Roland will disagree oh, and you're that's, intellectually that's short. That's real easy, Will. That's <laughs> real easy. First of all, he said that the gifts he gave to minorities, specifically, specifically black folks, was the Affordable Care Act. Will, last I checked, white people are also covered by the Affordable Care Act. It's not a black thing. That's first. Also, here's the other deal. He talked about my, uh, what Hispanics got, young voters got, women got. But, but let me help you when it comes to the minorities, Will. Iowa is a pretty white state. Romney lost to Obama. Maine, really white. Vermont, really white. Rhode Island, very white. Ohio, 79% 79 white. In fact, Carol, 72% <coughs> of the electorate who voted were white. And so when Romney says, oh, minorities got gifts, women got gifts, young voters got gifts, well, Mitt, you wanted to give gifts to the rich. The fact of the matter is, these are Americans, these were policies. This is a clueless guy who ignored Hispanics, who ignored black folks, and he paid the price. And thank goodness he lost for stupid comments like this. All right, can I respond to that, Carol, please? Absolutely. Okay, so here's the deal. Roland's right that Mitt Romney, if he said, and I'm not sure he said he lost exclusively for these reasons, then he would be incorrect. No, it was a quote. Roland, Ro hold on, it Roland. Was a you quote. point out many, many areas where this, this analysis wouldn't have been applicable. Let me just, let, he said this. This is a quote from Mitt Romney. With regards to young people, for instance, a forgiveness of college loan interest was a big gift. Free contraceptives were very big with young college age women. And then finally, Obamacare made a big difference for them because, you know, anybody now 26 years of age or younger is going to be part of their parents' plan. Now, listen, we had historic turnout, for example, among young people. Are you going to tell me? Right. The President Obama's policies, many of them, weren't crafted to appeal to certain demographic groups. Is that a, an, an intellectually honest argument? The President Obama didn't create policies Whoa. that he knew would appeal to certain demographic groups, and he reaped the political benefit. <laughs> Uh-oh, Roland's Will, got his, quote, Roland quote, his iPhone no, out. Quote, with, with regards to African-American voters, Obamacare was a huge plus and was highly motivational to African-American voters. You can imagine for somebody making 25 or 30 or $35,000 a year being told you're not right. going to get free health care, particularly if you don't have it, getting free health care worth, what, 10000 a family right. in, per in perpetuity. I mean, this is huge. Likewise, with Hispanic voters, free health care was a big plus. No, Mitt Romney. Also, voter suppression by the GOP also drove black turnout. So Romney is trying to say, oh, Hispanics and African-Americans, they got free stuff. Young well, people got well, free me, stuff. Let me Women got let me, free let me, stuff. Let me Mitt, argue this lost, less passionate. Dude, let me argue this up. less passionately, Will. Might the word gift be exercised from the Republican vernacular because people don't quite understand what they mean by that? 
Well, now you're getting into an area which, you know, gets much more abstract, Carol, and that's, that's the area of tone. And was the word gift something that people will find offensive? I don't know, Carol, possibly, but here's the deal. The analysis, the intellectual analysis of it is not incorrect. And, and when Bobby Jindal, for example, tells you that we need to appeal to 100 percent, not 53 percent, whether that's because of tone or policy, what he's giving you is a political answer. You see, what conservatism should stand for is a policy that's generally applicable to 100 percent of the population, whether or not that's economic policy, whether that's defense of property rights, whether or not that's applicability of the First Amendment. And when you see policies that you're running against, like we just talked about, those that appeal to young voters or, or what or women or whatever demographic group, now mm -hmm. you're talking about dividing the electorate. Okay. See, okay. I, I think I need Bobby. I, I, I have to I have to button this up any, now, guys. I have I have to button this up, guys, and I know a, a great way to do that because um, I, I the, the, the great Republican, Republican Haley lost. Barber, former governor of Mississippi and also former head of the RNC, was talking about the Republican ground game, and I want to leave this block with his wise words about what Republicans need to do. Let's listen. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we've got to give our political organizational activity, a, a, you know, a, a very serious uh, um, proctology exam. And with that... <laughs> It's teed up for you, Roland. Do what you will with that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, I think no, there's sure. enough said. We got to go. And thank you both. Call for a your... black doctor or a young doctor. <laughs> I got to go. <laughs> We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs>